The tolerance for a ball bearing is 0.01. If the true diameter of the bearing is to be 2.0 inches, and the measured value of the diameter is x inches, express the tolerance using absolute value notation. Okie dokie. All right, so first things first is that they tell me that the true diameter of the bearing has to be two inches, right? So that's where I'm gonna start. I'm going to start at that true diameter. So the true diameter is two inches, okay. Now, they tell us that the tolerance, that means that there could be a little bit of an error. You could either be 0 0.01 greater than the true diameter, or you could be 0 0.01 less than the true diameter. That gives us two specific limits. There's going to be a lower limit that's acceptable and a higher limit. Just like we said, the higher limit would be adding that tolerance. So it'd be 2.0 inches plus the additional 0 0.01. This is the absolute highest that you can be. The lower limit would be the 2.0 minus the 0 0.01 tolerance. And that's the absolute lower limit. So for whoever is making this ball bearing, right, they're actually going to get an actual diameter of X. It just has to be in between these two limits. So the actual measured value of the diameter of this ball cannot be higher than two inches plus the 100 or the lower limit. So if I write this in greater than or less than or equal to signs, the actual diameter has to be less than the higher limit. The higher limit is the highest that it can go, right? And the alligator with its teeth always chomps on the higher side. And then in terms of the lower limit, this is the absolute lowest. So that would be lower, less than or equal to the, actu the actual value. And it's not a coincidence that these are the same exact signs. When you're doing it this way, they have to be the same sign. Oop, went a little bit too far back, okay. Now we just have to take this idea and turn it into absolute value notation. Now, remember back when we did tons of absolute value notations, right? Whatever the number was, right? You would always get out the positive answer or at least a zero. So even if this equaled the negative value, you would always get out the positive answer. So even if there is a lower limit, quote unquote negative, for absolute value notation, we kind of disregard this because we will add this idea back once we add the absolute value sign. So from here on out, you only need this part of the problem to work forward because when we add the absolute value, you will talk about this back. So I'm just going to say that X has to be less than or equal to 2.0 plus 0 0.01. Now, they want to express the tolerance using absolute value notation. So if you want to express the tolerance, that means that you want to solve for the tolerance. That means that the tolerance, which they told us was 0 0.01, right? The tolerance was 0 0.01, has to be the only thing on one side of this inequality. So I have to get rid of the 2.0. So I will minus the 2.0 from both sides. And now I get x minus 2.0 is less than or equal to 0 0.01. However, that's still only talking about the higher limit. In order to get the lower limit back, you have to add the absolute value. Because once you add the absolute value, that, no that tells us that we actually have two secret answers, a higher limit and a lower limit. And now you're done. That's the answer. So there was really no solving for here. We just had to use an actual equation. Okay, that is the end, guys. What did you think? Absolute values are done. This is the last question of the playlist. I hope you guys had fun, just as like I had fun doing all these problems with you. Ooh, if you heard that, that was thunder.
it's raining here in New York. Um, but yeah, so happy studying. Since it's raining or since it's thundering, can't go outside, so why not study, right? <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope that, you know, you guys are understanding your absolute value functions. Check out the description for all of the playlists, for all the math that we we have. Um, And if you want to help us out, hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to us. And I, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. You guys have been awesome throughout this whole journey, this whole YouTube journey so far. We have 6,000 subscribers at the moment. It's absolutely incredible. I can't even think about that. Like, that's crazy. But uh, thank you so much, guys. Really, honestly, you guys rock. I will see you guys all in the next chapter or section. So happy studying, all right? Math is fun. Bye, guys.